Hi everyone! So today we're going to talk about PHP file handling. Okay, so now let's try to talk muna ano ba yung sinasabi nating file handling. So file handling is an important part of any web application. You often need to open and process a file for different tasks. PHP has several functions for creating, reading, uploading, and editing files. Okay? So just a small warning guys, just safety first. Of course, when you are manipulating a files, you must be very careful because you can do a lot of damage if you do something wrong. So what are the common errors pagdating sa mga manipulating a file? So these are the common errors. First, we have editing the wrong file, filling a hard drive with garbage data, and deleting the content of a file by accident. Okay, so those are the common errors guys. So please be careful if you have or you have a functionality that manages um, files. Okay? okay, so now before we try to manipulate a file like creating a file, editing a file, or even reading a file, the first thing that we should do is to open up the file using the fopen function. Okay. So the first parameter of fopen contains the name of the file to be opened and the second parameter specifies in which mode the file should be opened. So let's say meron tayong text file. So yung file name niya basically is yung sample.txt and then ito naman yung content niya. Raymond M. Dilo, Bianmar S. Ogremen, and Giovanni and De Los Santos. Ito yung content niya. Okay? Now we have here yung sample code natin. So we try to open up the file using the fopen. And then um, we try to call here yung um, file name ng file. And then yung R naman dito, ito yung sinasabing mode. So later on, I'm going to discuss it to you about this mode parameter ng fopen function. Now dito, I also call this function fread in which yung first parameter, meron siyang um, it indicates dito yung file na naka-open or gusto natin i-manipulate. Then of course, dito yung file size ng file. Okay? So I'm going to discuss it more on later, uh, more on details um, later on. Then, of course, meron tayo dito ang fclose kasi once matapos na tayo sa pag-manipulate ng file, of course, we need to close the file. So, I'm also going to discuss it later on. Okay? Now, um, ito pala yung sample text, actual content ng sample text natin. Okay, so Raymond M. Dilo, Bian Maris Ogremen, and Giovanni N. De Los Santos. Okay. Now, if you're trying to run the code, what will happen is something like this. So, I try to open up yung, of course, yung browser ko, run the code, and ito yung magiging output. Although yung nasa text natin is naka new line naman siya, but if we're trying to read um, using the read function lang, then it will just display the whole content in a single line. Parang wala siyang new line, wala, wala siyang breakpoint. Okay? But later on, I'm going to show you kung paano ba natin mas mamamanipulate yung mga content niya. Okay guys? Okay. Now, going back here, ito yung code natin. We, we try to open first, di ba? And then, we try to read. So, the fread basically will return all the content na nasa file and we try to echo. Okay? Para ma-display na sa browser yung content niya. Then close. Okay, so now pag-usapan naman natin yung sinasabing mode parameter when it comes to opening a file. So the file 
may be open in one of the following modes. Pwede yung mga modes natin. The first is yung R, which is um, open a file for read only. So file pointer starts at the beginning of the file. Then we also have W, open a file for write only. So erases the contents of the file or creates a new file if it doesn't exist. So file pointer starts at the beginning of the file. Okay, so we also have yung A, which is also open a file for write only. So the existing data in a file is preserved. Okay, um, file pointer starts at the beginning of the file, then creates a new file if the file doesn't exist. Okay, so this is um, good mode if you want to append or to add more content on a file okay then we also have yung x so creates a new file for write only returns false and an error if the file already exists okay so other than that we also have yung r plus um, which opens a file for read and write so same thing naman sa r the file pointer starts at the beginning of the file then for the w plus open the file for read and write as well erases the content um contents of the file or creates a new file if does it exist so file pointer starts at the beginning of the file then for the a plus um open a file for read and write so existing data file existing data in file is preserved then the file pointer starts at the beginning then it creates a new file if the file doesn't exist and of course the last one will be the x plus in which it creates a file for read and write then returns false and an error if the file already exists okay so those are the modes uh, that we can use guys in the part of the fopen function okay now let's try to talk about on the part of reading a file okay so this is the function that we have used earlier which is the fread function in which it reads from an open file so the first parameter of fread contains the name of the file to read to read from and the second parameter specifies the maximum number of bytes to read so it yung sample natin kanina we have this fread function and dito na yung file na naka-open na inopen natin and then of course yung file size okay so it yung syntax niya so that's how we manage on reading the file okay Okay, so the next thing is pag-usapan naman natin yung close file. So the fclose function is used to close an open file. So the close requires the name of the file or a variable that holds the file name. We want to close. Okay? So ito yung sample natin kanina. fclose, tapos ito yung naka-open na file, which is based dito. Okay, guys. Okay, so we have here a short note. So it is a good programming practice to close all files after you had finished with them. Okay, so because if there's an open file running around the server, it might um, consume or take up resources. Na kung saan di naman kailangan. So it is a programming practice talaga to close all the files once natapos mo na tong gamitin. Okay, guys? Okay. So, now we're going to talk about the read single line. So, currently, ito yung sample text natin na merong content niya. So, basically, merong three lines of content na meron. Yung sample text na to. So, let's try to talk about that one. So, the F gets function is used to read a single line from a file. So note, after a call to the F gets function, 
the file pointer has moved to the next line. Okay? So, if we have the sample code, so we try to open the file and then um, call this function and this um, file, the variable that holds the file name, and then close it. If we try to run that code, yung mababasa lang niya or makukuha is yung um, line na merong Raymond M. Dilo. Kasi that's the first line na makikita sa file. But yung current uh, pointer ngayon, nasa second line na. So, paano naman if we, I want to get the second line and also the third line? Then, that's the time na pag-uusapan natin yung end of file na sinasabi. Kasi yung end of file, this will try to iterate um, to all the lines of the file. Okay, so the FEOF function checks if the end of file has been reached. The FEOF function is useful for looping through data of unknown length. Okay, so this will be the sample code na meron tayo. So we use the EOF function and then nandito yung file that we had opened. And then it will loop to that file until matapos or until it reach the last line. Then yung sa F gets naman will try to retrieve each line kung nasaan na yung pointer. Okay, so if we try to run that code, then this will be the output, yung mga pangalan na namin. Okay? So let me try to a bit um, to have a small explanation about this one. So the, there are three lines na meron yung file natin. Okay? So first loop, it will get yung pangalan na Raymond M. Dilo. Then display. Then after that, basically, mapupunta na sa next line. Then pagpunta sa next line yung pointer niya, then it loop na naman tayo sa second line. Second loop. Then yung pointer natin currently nasa second line na, then i-retrieve ko. Or i-retrieve nitong function. Then after retrieving, go to the third line. Loop na naman. So yung current pointer nasa third line na, then get ko na naman yung function. Or yung content niya. Then after that, once ma-retrieve ko na yung third line, babasa na naman natin dito pabalik sa looping. Meron pa bang content? Since wala ng content, then stop na yung looping. And then we try to close the file. Kaya yun ang naging output kanina. Okay? Okay. Um, now, um, pag-usapan naman natin about sa read single character. Okay, so kanina, we try to read the single line. Ngayon, characters naman yung pag-uusapan natin. So, same um, sample um, content. Okay. So, yung fgetc function, this is the function that we are going to use, is used to read a single character from one from a file. Note, after a call to the F get C function, the file pointer moves to the next character. Okay, so we have here yung sample code natin. Halos the same yung kanina, but the difference is that yung um, how to get the content, which is here we use the F get C, which retrieve a single character. So if we try to run that code, ito yung magiging output. So hindi natin masyadong nanonotice if each character ba or individual character ba talaga yung nare-retrieve. So yung ginawa ko, I try to update yung code ko. Nilagyan ko lang muna ng BR para at least bumaba yung mga ibang character every time na kukuha siya or nare-retrieve siya. So if, if we try to run this code na, ito na yung magiging code. Pababa um, vertically na yung output natin. Okay? Yan. Guys, so that's how we can manage yung mga single character if you want to do that kind of manipulation about the um, data of a file or content of a file. Okay? Okay, so now pag-usapan naman natin about 
the on how to create a file. So the fopen function is also used to create a file. Okay, so if you use fopen on a file that does not exist, it will create it. As long as you set the mode for writing, which is W, or appending for A, which is A. Okay, ito yung mga mode. Kanina kasi yung mga mode na ginamit natin is R pa lang. Ngayon, ito yung sample code natin. Um, F open, then ito yung gusto kong maging file name niya, then write for W. Then, if you try to check yung directory natin, um, working directory, ito na yung na-create na file once the code was executed. Okay? So, if you try to open it up, of course, wala pa siyang laman. Kasi hindi pa naman tayo nag-write or nagsulat sa content na yan. So, that's the next thing na pag-uusapan natin. Write to file. PHP, write to file. Okay, the fwrite function is used to write to a file. The first parameter of fwrite function basically contains the name of the file to write to and the second parameter is the string to be written. So, ito yung sample code. So, I try to open muna yung file. Then, if it doesn't exist, then it will be, create, will be created since I use the w mode. And then dito, I use the fwrite function, um, then set the text here of Ogrem and Myanmar S. And then this one, I also call the function here, but I try to set here yung name na Dyloraymon M. So then close the file. Then I also put here yung slash n, if you're still familiar with your C programming, para maging mag new line siya. Okay, so if you try to run this code, then check this new file, then makikita natin na meron na siyang laman. Okay? Pero ito yung tanong. What if I try to call the same function once I open the file, what will happen to the content? Okay? So that's the next thing na pag-uusapan natin, which is about the PHP overwriting. So, ito yung current content ng file natin. Iba yung kanina. Now, if we have the sample code, we try to open up yung file natin. Then, yung mode natin is still W. And, um, we try to call yung same function na F, right? But, yung text niya is iba na. De Los Santos Giovanni N and Ormineta Jude Alan. So na yung mga sample text natin. So if we try to run that code, then ito na yung mangyayari. Nawala na yung previews na content natin. Kasi na override siya. Okay? It is because of the mode that we had used here. Since we use yung W, once basahin to, then yung mangyari, it will try to erase all the content na meron siya, and then write the new one. What if hindi yun yung intention nyo? What if you just want to append some content? Okay, ano yung gagawin natin? All we need to do is to update yung mode into a, which is for appending. Now, um, dito, I try to call the same function, but different text na, or your mga content. So, if you try to call that, um, execute that codes, and let's try to check out yung file natin, yung mangyayari ganito. Hindi na-delete yung previous content, but instead, it just added yung mga bagong content natin. Okay? So that's how we can edit or we can append on a certain file using the appending mode or the A na mode. Okay, guys? Okay. 
Now let's try to talk about yung rename a file. So this is not only applicable for the text file, this is also applicable for other files. So the rename function renames a file or directory. So hindi lang sa file, it also applicable for directories. Okay, so the first parameter of a rename specifies um, the file or directory to be renamed. And the second parameter specifies the name, um, the new name, rather, for the file or directory. So, hindi lang to limited sa text file. It also applicable for image, PDF, doc file, basta mga file. Okay? So, ito yung new file natin, itong new file text. I want to rename it into something else. So, I have here yung sample code ko. I try to rename it from new file.txt to new file v2 or version 2. So, if that codes will be executed, so from having this um, current um, file name, then it will be renamed into something like this na. Okay? So, that's how we can rename yung file name. But what if, let's say, we created a new folder and yung file is nasa loob ng folder na yan. Paano naman natin yan i -re rename All we need to do is to do something like this. Call the same function but specify here yung folder. So, test slash, since that's the folder name, test slash yung file name, then test slash, then yung new file name mo. So, paano ko naman malalaman kung saan ako mag-new new file o mag maglalagay ng folder name? It depends sa file structure mo, guys. So, yung code ko, basically, nakalagay sa index.php file. So, by the way, this is the file structure na meron ako. Okay? So, this is my working directory. Nandito yung test directory. Then sa loob niya, mayroong test file.txt which is yun ang gusto kong i-rename. Now, nandito yung index.php file. Meron akong other file na new file, v2, text, and sample text. Now, yung code na to resides on the index.php file. And yung file na test file is under the test directory. So, the first na gagawin ko muna is to call this directory kasi yan yung ka-level ng index.php file. So, I need to call this one muna. Test, then slash, then yung file name na. So, same thing pagdating dito, test, slash, then yung new file name. Okay? So, once we run that code and if we try to check yung um, file explorer natin, then mare rename na siya. Okay? So that's how we try to rename a certain file if it is um, saved in a specific folder. Okay, guys? Okay, so now let's try to talk about uh, copy a file. Paano ba yung pag-copy ng file or if you want to duplicate a file? So, madali lang. You just need to call this particular function that copies a file, which is yung copy. So, the first parameter of copy um, specifies the path to the, fi to the file to copy from, yung source file. And then, the second parameter specifies the path to the file to copy to, your target file. So, note, if the target file already exists, it will be overwritten. So, just be um, aware for that one. So, yung file na gusto kong i-duplicate or gawan ng panibagong copy is yung sample.txt. So, to have a copy on that using a certain code, all I need to do is something like this. This is the file that I want to copy or kung yung path niya, kung saan siya nakalagay. And then, ito naman yung file ko. O, new file na gusto ko. So, ito yung gusto kong file name. 
just make sure na wala siyang kaparehas na file name kasi what will happen kagaya na kagaya nga ng note kanina it will be overwritten you're going they're going to have the same name so just make sure na unique yung name niya okay so once we run that code and check our file explorer then magkakaroon na na tayo ng new file okay so that's how we try to make a duplicate copy or to have a copy of a certain file okay guys okay so this will be the last part i guess for this particular um topic um which is about delete a file so the unlink function deletes a file so the first parameter of the unlink specifies the path of the file to delete okay so let's say i want to delete this sample v2.txt so all i need to do is to have this some code unlink then let's put here yung path papunta sa file so if you run that one um what will happen from having this one of course madidelete na yung file so yung pag unlink hindi siya limited sa text file okay so you can delete any kind of file except for a directory um doc file image file you can do that kasi kung for example na lang guys you have a web application that can store your profile picture and yung um profile picture sa database is tinilit mo pero yung sa actual image sabi nating hindi mo na delete what will happen magkakaroon na maraming images na hindi mo naman kailangan sa server nyo so it's not a good thing so kung ma-delete mo sa database try to delete as well yung file na nasa server mo yung mga profile pictures na hindi naman kailangan na okay so you can do that as well with using the unlink function okay Okay, now let's try to have a recall regarding those topics or th that we had learned on this particular um, video. The first, of course, about the open file. Paano ba tayo mag-open? Before we can manipulate, of course, we need to open a file. Okay, that's the first thing na, na, na natutunan natin. Then, of course, the mode parameter. Ano ba doon ba ang iba-ibang mode na pwede natin magamit kagaya ng... Um, V R for reading, W for writing, A for appending, so on. And then we also learn about read file using the fread function. Okay. Then we also learn about the close file to close a file and also the tips, tip rather, on how it is important to close a file. Okay. Then we also learn about the read single line. Okay, then the end of file. We also learn that one. If you want to iterate to all the lines of a certain file, we can use end of file for that. Then the read single character. If you want to manage on manipulating the single character. Then we also have you create file. Also learn that one. And then how to write a file. Or even appending the file or by writing file you also learn that one na mga a sort of warning when it comes to manipulating a file that it will be overwritten if you use the wrong mode first and then you renaming a file then copy a file and the last one of course to delete the file so those are the things that we have discussed on this particular topic that we had so i hope you learned something new today guys regarding this topic so if you did please click thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified if there are new videos that we're going to upload okay, guys so just like i always say just keep practicing and never stop learning thank you for watching guys and goodbye for now